of another kind from all over the world will gather in wells for the British Cave Rescue Council's annual conference. For the hosts, the Mendip Rescue Organization, it'll be a chance to show off their expertise, which they believe to be some of the best in the country. They'll also be demonstrating a Kerb Morgan mask, a unique and vital piece of equipment which they've developed themselves. Dave Passmore went to Wookie Hole to see the team on exercise earlier today. The dangers of cave exploration and potholing have changed little over the years. The quality of rescue organisations has altered beyond recognition. The splendours of Wookie Hole Cave are open to anyone capable of a short walk. But beyond, further into the Mendip Hills, lies a series of caverns. To see these, you need a large amount of equipment and a slightly reckless spirit. Often chambers are separated by submerged passages. To be injured beyond one of these presents problems. The Mendip Rescue Organization not only uses a specially developed stretcher, they've come up with a unique mask which can be strapped onto an unconscious person so they can be taken underwater to safety. We've got the victim strapped up in a uh, Kobe Morgan mask, which is uh, the only one in the country used by a cave rescue team to rescue uh, an injured person from a flooded passage. Suppose in, say, in Wookiee Hole here, uh, a diver was trapped beyond a flooded passage with a broken leg or some sort of injury, we'd use this to bring him out. So how does it work exactly? It works off uh, compressed air. It's a commercial diving mask, as used in North Sea oil uh, exploration. The divers will carry him on the stretcher and take him into the water and uh, carry him through the flooded passage to the exit of the cave. How far could he travel underwater if necessary? Uh, as far as the air supply will um, cater for it. And we have backup bottles which can be added to it and um, we can go on more or less indefinitely. The Mendip Rescue Organization is proud of its record. In the last 35 years, more than 550 people have been helped. The team is made up entirely of volunteers funded only by donation. They cover much of the southwest and say they can get themselves and their equipment to any cave system in the country if required. As the team emerged into the bright sunlight, Tim Large proclaimed the exercise as a great success. It proves the equipment we've got and invested in is uh, going to be uh, good for the job. Will people coming at the weekend uh, be very interested in that? Oh yes they will because we're the only rescue team in Britain who's got this system. So you're really at the forefront of uh, rescue technology? That's right, as the cave diving group in Somerset has been for a long time with explorations in Wookiee Hole. Another trial completed and they'll have to do it all again tomorrow for the benefit of the conference.